ESR2010, a small genie for your big ESR task. ESR2010 is an automated erythrocyte sedimentation rate analyzer based on the standard 1 hour Vestagran method. Preparation of testing on ESR2010 is as simple as its performance. Label the 120 by 8 mm ESR glass tube with patient ID, name, age and sex. Set the volume to 320 microliters on your 100 to 1000 microliter variable volume micro pipette. Dispense 320 microliters of ready to use 3.8% sodium citrate to the labeled ESR tube. You can also use vacuum ESR tube which is pre-filled with 320 microliters of 3.8% sodium citrate. These tubes are available from companies like BD and Grenner. Set the volume to 1000 microliters to dispense the first installment of a total of 1280 microliters of fresh whole blood to the same tube. Now set the volume of 280 microliters to dispense the remaining volume of whole blood. Preferably use fresh whole blood for testing, but EDTA stored whole blood may also be used, but not later than 2 hours after blood collection. Hemolyzed blood specimens cannot be used for testing. The ratio of sodium citrate and whole blood should be strictly 1 is to 4 for accurate results. A minimum of 1.1 ml of whole blood can be used, reducing the sodium citrate volume to just 0.275 ml. Secure the rubber plug to the ESR tube and mix gently. ESR2010 is very safe. The closed analysis system prevents contact with potentially hazardous blood specimens. Invert the ESR tube completely and slowly. Invert at least 8 to 10 times to ensure complete mixing of the whole blood and sodium citrate. Mixing gently is important to avoid hemolysis of the blood cells. Switch on the analyzer which is connected to a UPS. The initial display on the LCD shows the brand name and the company name. The real time laboratory temperature is also displayed. The printer if connected to the analyzer performs an automated test print. Do not connect the printer if you don't intend to print the results. ESR2010 is a random access analyzer. Insert the ESR tube for testing into any of the 10 chambers you wish.
run on the 7th position of the LCD indicates the start of the test time. The result of chamber 7 here will be timed and displayed at the end of 30 minutes on the LCD. Similarly, other tubes can be prepared and inserted to the chambers for testing. ESR2010 features random loading of the ESR tubes. Any tube may be loaded anytime. Each test is timed automatically for 30 minutes for the final ESR results. A minimum of 1 or 10 ESR tubes can be tested at a time. Twenty test specimens per hour can be performed with ESR2010. ESR2010 is easy and economical, smart and safe, rapid and reliable. Conventional manual 1 hour Westergren ESR method results varies with temperature and humidity. ESR2010 offers not just automation but also auto correction of ESR results at 18 degrees Celsius. So results of a specimen with conventional Westergren method at various lab temperatures will be different. But results of the same specimen with ESR2010 will be same even if performed at various lab temperatures because of auto correction of results at a standard 18 degrees celsius. At the end of 30 minutes for the first test at chamber number 7, result is displayed on the LCD. Simultaneously the result is also obtained in the printer in the form of a graphical representation. The printed result features the chamber number, the ESR results at 18 degrees Celsius with the result kinetics in the form of a graph. It also has a format to manually fill in the patient ID, name, sex, age for further documentation of the individual test results. Similarly, the results of each chamber is also obtained at 30 minutes from the time of its individual run identification on the LCD.